It is really easy to find both areas and Z scores for the normal curve, that standard normal distribution using either Excel or Google Sheets. You do not need to use a table. I'm gonna go ahead and start with areas first, and then we're gonna move on into given an area under the curve, finding those Z scores. Starting with this example, I'm gonna look for the area to the left of the Z score 0.75. I've got the picture there below. To call this function, I type the equals into the cell where I want the number. So equals, and then I want norm.s for standard normal dot dist. So that standard normal distribution parenthesis, I want it to the left of 0.75, and then I hit enter. This norm.s.dist automatically uses or calculates the area to the left of whatever number you give it. Now, if you wanted to do this as a formula where you could type in any z-score that you wanted into the cell above, you can do it this way. So do equals and then do that same norm.s.dist parenthesis. I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell up above and then close that with a parenthesis and then enter. Notice how it gave me 0.5. That's half the area under the normal curve. It's assuming I've got a zero z-score. Let's go ahead and put in another z-score like that 0.75 we just did. If I hit enter, it calculates that as well. So a really nice way to make this into um, kind of a plug and play um, spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and do the area to the right. Now I know that norm.s.dist automatically gives me an area to the left but I want instead an area to the right. So what I need to do instead is to subtract from the entire area, the area that norm.s.dist gives me, the area that Excel gives me. So the entire area under that curve is equal to one. I'm gonna subtract the area that I don't want. So norm.s.dist, and it's that area in white to the left of negative 0.75. Now, I should get the same area that I got in the other one because of symmetry. It doesn't matter which direction my curve is turned, and sure enough, I get that same area. The next example is for an area in between. Now, remember that our function, that norm.s.dist, only calculates an area to the left. So I've got to work with it. So what I really want is the area in blue, which is everything over to the left tail. And I want to subtract the area in red, and that's going to give me the area in between. So I'm going to go ahead and take equals the blue area. So norm.s.dist, that's to the left of 1.2 and I'm going to subtract the area to the left of negative 0.6. Norm.s.dist, negative 0.6, and what I end up with is the area in between. Now let's take a look at finding given areas. We're going to find the corresponding z-scores, a really great way to find critical values if you're working on either hypothesis tests or confidence intervals. So first of all, we are given an area to the left. So the area that I'm pointing to here in this left tail is 0.2546. I'm gonna use a different formula this time, but I'm still working with my standard normal distribution. So I'm gonna type equals norm.s. This time, notice it pops up that INV parenthesis 0.2546. All of these functions work always from the left. So if you keep that in mind, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And sure enough, it gave me a negative z-score because I'm on the left side of the middle, the left of zero, and I get that negative z-score of negative 0.6601. Let's turn this into um, a plug and play so we can put any area in. So if I was doing, again, an area to the left, I would do equals norm.s for the standard norm normal.env, and I want the area in the cell above. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that cell and then parenthesis and enter. Right now it doesn't like it. It says you didn't give me anything. So let's do an area to the left of 0 0.05. Now if I hit it, I end up with that negative 1.645. But what if I'm instead working on the right-hand side? So I can obviously use some symmetry here and just take the negative sign off, right? That would be a great way to go. Instead, I'm going to give it this area on the left. The area on the left, let me put it here, actually. My left area is going to be everything that's in white there instead. So that's going to equal the entire area 1 minus 0.1075. Now that I've got the area from the 
the left, which is what my um, Excel spreadsheet wants or Google Sheets wants, I can go ahead and do my um, inverse norm. So I'm going to do norm.s.inv parenthesis. You can either type that value in now or just grab it by clicking on it and then hitting enter. And we get that Z score of it's positive because it's to the right, 1.2399. Okay, next we've got an area in the middle. The area in the middle is 0.9. 1 minus 0.9 is um, 0 0.10. So I had to split that 0 0.10 into my two tails. So I've got 0 0.05 on the left. So my left area is 0 0.05. This makes it really easy to find that z-score. So I'm going to just say equals norm.s.inv. I'm going to grab that 0 0.05. Now I could do the same thing, right, and do my 1 minus 0 0.05, and I'd have an area all the way to the left of that second z-score of 0.95, or I can just use symmetry and know that my second z-score is going to be the same value, but positive, 1.645. I hope this was helpful. Any questions or comments that you have for me, go ahead and leave those down below. And thank you so much for watching.